What's going on guys? This is Dakota from the Techies World and today we are going to conduct a demo of one of the biggest features of Apple's latest operating system, Siri. Mac OS Sierra version 10.12 has officially brought Siri over to the Mac for the very first time. Before we officially get into it, let's see how Siri likes her new shiny Mac. Pretty awesome. Lots of space, aluminum unibody walls, and no complaint about the lack of windows. You can ask Siri pretty much the same types of questions you would ask on your iPhone or iPad. You can ask Siri for a quick lookup of the weather for any location you'd like. Clicking see more on weather.com will bring you to the Weather Channel website for the exact breakdown on the forecast for that location. Siri is also useful for turning on and off certain system settings on your Mac. Okay, I turned off Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Unfortunately, Siri is unable to turn on or off macOS Sierra's dark mode at this particular time. I hope Apple will add that command into Siri's database for macOS 10.13 next year. It would be a nice little time saver. Speaking of time savers, you can also use Siri to launch applications. Open Microsoft Word. Now let's say that you need to step away from your Mac for a brief moment and you don't want anybody peeking their eyes on your screen to see what you're up to. You can request Siri to enable your screensaver. Of course, just enter your password to get right back in. Just like her sister, Siri on the Mac likes to stay sports savvy. Want to know the current NFL standings? You've got it. Want to know if the Red Sox won their last game? You've got that too. The Indians swept the Red Sox in the ALDS 3-0. They won the last game 4-3. Or how about when the next Patriots game is being held? It's all there. The Patriots Seahawks game is November 13th, 2016 at 8.30 p.m. Setting up a calendar event with Siri is very simple. Okay, tell me the date and time of your event. February 15th. 2017 at 4 p.m. Okay, I set up your event for February 15th, 2017. Shall I schedule it? You bet. It's on your calendar for 4 p.m. February 15th, 2017. And now let's check to see if that actually did schedule. And you see, it's right there. You can also send tweets using Siri. Send a tweet. What would you like to say? Isn't talking to your computer awesome? This is Siri on macOS Sierra. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? You bet. Okay, I sent your tweet. And again, we'll check to see if that tweet is there. And it is. Siri can also search the web for all kinds of topics. For example, the best cheesecake recipes. Here's what I found on the web for the best cheesecake recipes. Or maybe the best top rated movies. Personally, I'm a Kubrick fan. Or the latest gossip on your favorite fruit company. Here's what I found on the web for latest Apple rumors. A cool feature about Siri on macOS is that you can click this plus button in the top right corner of the search window to pin any Siri search to Notification Center. This is especially helpful if you're going to be referring to a query often while you work. When you're finished with the query, just click the X and it will go away. Siri can also search for places of interest using Apple Maps. Not sure where the nearest IKEA is? Siri's got you covered. Or maybe you want to get a little Quaker steak for dinner. Okay, Dakota, here's what I found. Want to go to the Apple Store? Find the nearest Apple Store. Okay, check it out. You can use Siri to find documents on your Mac as well. Here are all of the documents. And at the end of the day, when you want to wind down with a little bit of music, Siri can do that as well. This is Siri on Mac OS Sierra. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Techies world, hit that subscribe button below. Check out the website and all of the social media accounts. I will post the links to those in the video description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.